As I have promised, I will do a video about Filmic Pro on Android. This app is really the best manual control app for video recording. You can customize everything, from ISO, exposure, focus, auto balance, basically everything. Thing I also adore in this app is its simplicity. I think that even small child can use this app, it's so simple. Let me give you an example. You want to create some stunning videos with your phone, but you just can't because the camera app will always change exposure, focus and so on. Here locking them is as simple as pressing an on-screen button. To use autofocus, all you need to do is to drag the rectangle on the subject you want to focus. If you can't get a good focus, you can always hold down the rectangle icon in the bottom right corner, which will give you an option to manually control it. Exposure. Here is where the things get complicated if you don't have knowledge on what exposure and ISO is. ISO will make your picture grainy but brighter, while exposure is recommended to be set twice as frame rate. So for example, if you have 25 frames per second, you should have exposure 1 over 50 to get that natural movement and avoid light flickering. So I would recommend having exposure set to manual at 1 over 50 if you're shooting in 25 frames per second and ISO as needed, but not higher than 400. The most left icon is white balance. Before you start recording, just make sure all the colors are as they should be. Settings. If your phone supports it, you can capture up to 4K resolution and bitrate of 100 megabits per second, which is a lot. For example, my camera G7 shoots at that bitrate. Next option is setting frame rate. You can set, capture and playback frame rate. It's recommended to keep them both the same. In audio section, you can choose audio bitrate up to 96,000 Hz, which is also quite a lot. Also, you can choose which mic you want to use, in case you have external one or you can completely turn it off if you want to. Headphone monitoring means you can plug in your headphones and listen to what you are recording. Going on, you can set recording destination, project name, scene name and so on. On hardware section, you can use monodog adapter which will kind of make that cinematic look with those top and bottom black bars. 35mm lens adapter will flip your picture upside down. And the last option is if you have DJI Osmo Mobile. So that's it for the settings. I made some samples just using the app, so thumbs up if you like it.